Hello everyone and welcome to our video on creating a new ESC database. You might either be a new customer looking to create your database for the first time or an existing user who is looking at expanding your services and need a new database to track this. Well, put your feet up, grab a snack and keep on watching. I will tell you how to get this thing going on. First, let's start by clicking on create a new company right here on the dashboard. We are now on the welcome screen of the new company setup wizard. One thing to point out is that most of the settings in this wizard can be accessed from within the software. Let's continue now by clicking on next. This is the database information screen. On this screen, we will need to state which computer has SQL installed on it for ESC. That computer will be referred to as the server computer, even if it's being used as a workstation. We normally recommend running this wizard from the server so we don't have to modify the setting. Next is the network library, which determines which network protocol we are going to use to connect. I would recommend just leaving it on Winsock TCP IP. The checkbox is for determining if we will be using SQL or Windows authentication. If you are doing this from the server, you can leave it checked. Otherwise, I recommend on removing the check. Next is the username and password. Since this is the creation of the database, just leave it as admin and do not put in a password at this time. Lastly for this screen, put in a name for the new database. Now click on next. Now we are on the company information screen of the wizard. Here you will enter the company name, address, city, state, zip code, phone number and fax number of the business. Once this is all done, click on next. On this screen, we need to choose the type of company you are in. Pick the one that best suits your business. If you are unsure which to choose, just select other. If you do multiple, like appliance and HVAC, you can choose either one or other also. Don't be worried if you can't determine which to pick, as it doesn't have a major impact on the database. This screen shows you what departments will be entered into ESC. You can choose to remove some or add more with the add and remove buttons on the side. If you are not sure of what to do with them yet, you can progress forward as you will be able to modify departments in the software. We are now at the chart of accounts screen. The list of accounts is what will be in ESC by default and the account numbers can be modified here. If you are planning on integrating with QuickBooks or Peachtree, this screen can be skipped. Now we have the ability to choose our inventory valuation, which will determine how inventory costs are being recorded. If you are not going to be managing inventory, just click Next. If you will be, you have your first option of weighted average or FIFO, which means first in, first out. If you will be tracking your inventory closely and not allowing parts to have negative quantities, then FIFO will be your best option. Otherwise, stick it out with weighted average. Now we have the ability to do tax authorities. If you are in an area with very complex sales tax, you can skip this and set up your tax codes in the software. Otherwise, you can choose your tax percentage here. You can also choose what will be specifically taxed, labor, material, and or agreements. If you have a second authority that is part of the sales tax, you can use the second option for this also. So far, so good. Now we are ready to set up our customer defaults. The first field is for late charges when running statements. If you will be integrating with QuickBooks or Peachtree, then this will not do anything in the ESC and you can just leave it alone. Next, you can enter in your standard labor rate and right after that, your helper rate if you have one. Lastly, you can enter a trip charge. Go ahead 
and click on Next when finished. Now, we can enter our technicians. Click on Add Technician and a screen will appear. Assign a number. Then enter a first name and last name. If needed, you can remove one also. A side note is that you don't have to enter them here. You can wait until you are into the software and enter the technicians. Now click on Next and we are on the Finish screen. Click finished and you are ready to start using the software. Enjoy!